Hi, my name is Michael's Beard, and I'm interviewing last week's winner, Brad Keselowski. I'm a magic beard. Are you? Yeah, watch this. Beard do, beard da, ba ba beard up. Hey, you gave me a fucking beard. You know, now I gotta wash this thing. Love the beard. Accept the beard. The beard is your friend. Man, this thing is itchy. Hey, Brad, this is all a dream. You can wake up now. Huh? What was that? What did you say? Uh, well, damn. That's the last time I spend the night in the Talladega infield. What's happening, everybody? I am my gum roots and welcome back to NASCAR 14 season. I don't even want to talk about last week. It was so freaking forgettable that I have already forgotten it. How could you forget a race that bad? I spun out I don't know how many times and I didn't get a caution hardly any of them. I only got a caution when it involved other drivers. So I see just what the hell is happening up in the tower this season. They're not going to give me any sort of handouts. They are sick and tired of Jim. I win and everything. Well, hardy har har. I'm going to prove them a thing or two. I'm going to win their championship. I'm going to win all the races. Whether they want to help me out or not. Actually, that could prove to be difficult. If I continue to spin out and they continue to ignore me. I am not going to get very many good, good runs. Case in point, we dropped to ninth in points after our 42nd place finish at Richmond. Well, see, here's the thing. Anybody that has a halfway working brain can find out that I am not ninth in points. I am actually much higher. I see Jim I do, 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 285. Now you go up the leaderboard. I'm ahead of McDouche. I'm ahead of Jeff Gordon Ramsay. I'm even ahead of giggles tony the tiger steve harvey and look at that i'm ahead of alan john i am third in points Gabe doesn't want to give me yellows and they don't want to put me in the spot where i belong in the point standings to get me to worry to, to make me make more mistakes the game is conspiring against jimma they got it out for me this is about the time when nascar started making all these crazy wackadoo changes to the schedule of the playoff format to try to make sure that jimma wouldn't win to keep my man down. And what did he end up doing? Well, he actually retired a few years after that, but that's not the point. We will win this championship. And then once I have that shiny sprint cup, I'm going to fill it full of cat piss. I'm going to dunk Brian Francis' head in that shit. We don't have much to worry about. We've got a couple of wins, so we'll be in the playoffs so Brian Francis can fuck right off. Marcos Polo is the last driver in because Darb Keselowski, he bumps up. He got his win last week, and he's got more points than these guys, but Old Man Bushy got more points than him, so that bumps Marcos Polo down to 15, so then Darb goes up and they take the... the Damn. They should hire me to teach calculus. Then the rest of the half wits that are in no way in the positions where they actually belong. The only one that actually is where he belongs is Sandcastle. The 43 car. Because he's in 43rd all the time. My paint scheme for the day! Talladega. Oi, oi, oi. I don't really remember much about the Daytona race and how that went. We ended up in 6. I just went back and looked. I came close to winning, I believe. Marcos Polo got it right there. That's right, we had all those lap cars right there at the end that kind of fucked things up. Yeah, now I remember. Who well, that happened again? Well, damn it, we gotta run the race to find out if that'll happen again. Lap cars, stay fucking clear on Jim. I bet you Brian France told them to block me. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's get out of the track. Restricted plate race in his back, bitch. Let's get this video started. Let's go! doesn't stick anymore. Welcome to the world's fastest super speedway, Talladega, Alabama, and Fox Sports coverage of the Aaron's 499. You know, Mike, uh, everybody complains about restricted plates on these cars at Daytona and Talladega. The cars may be restricted, but the racing isn't, Mike. It's gonna be wild and crazy today. You better hang on to your helmet. Well, Darrell, will we see pack racing or the two-car tandem? I think you'll see a combination of both, but I think the guys that can break out at the end, a two-car tandem, that's what will win this race. Talladega has a great history of thrilling action, and for some reason, it tends to favor first-time winners. Wonder if we'll get one of those this afternoon. Buggity, buggity, buddy! Come on, buddy, give me a show! Let's go racing, boys and girls! Bye. 
Thank you, Daryl! Holy shit! I can see the foot for once for where I'm starting! We're in third! We had a great qualifying run and we're going for the lead! We're underway from Talladega! This is already going a hell of a lot different than it did in the 2013 season. Remember those races? Remember how bad they were? How I couldn't keep up at all? Joe Nemato looking for the lead. What the hell? I can't believe I actually decided to dedicate all this time to qualifying. I did 11 minutes worth of qualifying, three different rounds, working my way through. I thought that I was gonna have a shot at the pole, and that's the only reason why I kept up with it. So close, yet so far. Well, this is kind of a friggin' mess already. It's lap two, lap two. I saw it coming. I... We done DNF the pole sitter, and now we get the yellow! Cyborg Fever getting the same sort of treatment that I'm getting. They're not gonna let him win a championship either. Not like it's really gonna ever happen. Not like he has a chance in friggin' hell. But they didn't want to throw him down. Wow! Someone want to explain to me what the absolute fuck I'm doing in 40th position. I started in third! I don't like the sound of my engine. It sounds like there might be something going on there. And since I'm back here already, I might as well pass! Man, I am so glad I spent 11 minutes qualifying now. I have to say, that is rather unfortunate. I don't know why my voice is cracking so much. Cyber fever, pole sitter, and gets taken out. Lap two, because we go three wide, because these people don't know how to wait! Trevor Braid, how you doing? I guess that Daytona 500 win, that was just a flash in the pan, right? Kind of nervous now being back here. I don't want the pack all driving off for me, leaving me in the dust. I think we're good, though. I think we got we got a couple guys behind us, so we're keeping up with the pack well enough right now. We should be able to drive up through this. Little well, baby T-Rex has the fastest lap. Right there. What? 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 No, no, not anymore. It's Trevor Brain, the one I was just shit talking now fastest. Ooh, really look at good. us. Look at all the people we're passing. You're we got the low. good, good suck. Smells you later, douchebag. So the right trigger button on my later controller has it. done die, and I had to right change there, the button layout. So now I'm wide, using the A wide, button. Right. The A must stand for assholes because you gotta be an asshole to actually use this for good. gas in a NASCAR game. The Danica, hang the hell on to it. My thumb hurts. It is very painful using this. And little, little baby T-Rex fastest again. I am not enjoying this. I want my right my, my trigger button again. Oh, fuck this thing. I ain't no asshole. My name is Michael. I'm going to put this back. Ah, oh, that's better. I don't know what the hell it is. I recalibrated this stupid thing. Is this because of the, is this because the controller's broken that I'm losing all this space? Kind of want to. I thought I almost blew my shit. Almost blew my shit. I thought there was a hole big enough for Jimmy there, but apparently my Johnson is too large, much larger than hamsters, mind you. And I couldn't fit in that hole. Oh yeah! I'm already down on horsepower because this button don't work so well. So with that paired with this, I gotta make sure the engine is in one piece all day. But I was about to say before, hamster's a little tiny baby dick. Spun me into the outside walls. If I can't win today, I wanna see some Let's goofball win. Abuse. I wanna put okay. the likes of when you are, Porker Kligerman, my clone, my twin, to the win. I'm sorry, Peter Parker is his God-given name. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're driving away from me, but I don't think, I think it's still working. You guys better come back. And the reason why I initially swapped it over was because I could hear the engine cutting out because the button wasn't working. I haven't heard that yet. God damn, I'm gonna have one less thumb by the end of this video. I might have just screwed myself to the wooden side of a tin fence. We have no draft. They're driving away. We need a yellow. Couple of people have lost the draft, so we do have that. The 83 is leading you. Go, little baby T-Rex. Peter Parker to the lead. Apparently, I just got to talk about it, son of a bitch, and they're going to find themselves in the lead today. I ordered a dildo from China. It was made in a factory in China. They put it on a boat, 
They shipped it over here on a ship, and then it docked in California. From there, a delivery truck, probably UPS, I don't remember, picked up the dildo package, drove cross country to New Jersey, and hand delivered it to me. There was a picture of a dildo on the side of the package. So everyone that handled it knew what I ordered. I tell you this story because that entire transaction happened, came together quicker than me catching up to Vicks Vapor Rub now. All I really wanted to know was why the picture on the outside of the package? David Roto Rooter to the lead. All the fucking screwballs are leading laps today. Yup, screwball. Yup, screwball. We're gonna have to make pits at some point. We're halfway on uh, fuel. Yup, okay, screwball. Go, I have no idea what lap it was that I pitted. It was like eight laps ago. Go, maybe something along those lines. We're like halfway through the tag. Tires are not wearing whatsoever, ever. So I'm not even gonna take tires. Ah! Welcome to Michael Bobs' Mid Race Report! Presented by Gas and Water! Dorm Kislowski, you're my only fucking hope, man. We gotta do some drafted. Please don't pit almost immediately after I get to your back bumper. I don't know if we just had a terrible restart before or if it was the controller. What is exactly to blame for that unfortunate restart? We lost the pack. We are far friggin' behind. It's the gap has only grown. We're 23 seconds down on the lead. Probably cannot make this ground up just by bump drafting and through pit stops. It's gonna require much, much up. more. Yeah, it's gonna require divine fucking intervention from the Lord above to get us back into this race. I'm talking to yellow. Now, Darb, I'm gonna push you very hard and very fast. You're not gonna like it most of the time. You're gonna be wiggling a lot. I need to do it because we need to go. Fucking, you gotta stay out front of me. We need to gain time. We need to go nice. to the lead. Nice. So just take it up the ass like a man. If we do make it back up there at some point today, I like the drafting more in this game than in 2013. I think I can maneuver the car quite a bit weller. And I think we could be in contention for dumb. But I just need to find my way back into that lead group. This has been Michael Gomes' Mid-Race Report presented by Gas Can Water. Okie dokes, we're back in. I told you to take it up the ass, and you couldn't handle it. Big time sussy baka levels, big pussy alert. You are mid-tier driver level. If I had to guess, I am trying so hard to sound like a Gen Zer, and I am failing miserably. I'm one of those old, crusty fucking millennials. I don't know shit. I'm not gonna take but two right side tires because that's all that's really worn out. Can we even make it from here? We might have to make another pit stop. Got a little bit of a jump on the outside lane. We're fine now because we got people up behind us. We won't lose the draft like we did last time. I just gotta work my way up through these bitches for the last 14 laps. Outside lane, all the time sucks the big freaking meaty ball when it comes to the eutechnics and the restrictor plates. We three wide. You remember what happened the last time we went three wide immediately? After a restart, Chip Chip yelling to the lead! Is that? No. It can't be. Damn! Boy, I am not your father! Fuck off! Whoa, Car three- outside. Whoa! Oh! Hang on to Car it, outside. teammate! Things are getting kind of crazy up in here! 21 cars! Out front, dominated! Ever since I opened my big fat yapper! Oh, we're coming. Oh my god. I got dad in tow! Here we go! New leader! How much a yellow flag can change the trajectory of a race? Nope. Ooh, threw it in the fence, trying to block you. 
probably not a good move to tell you what. This AI is particularly racy. They're making some big old moves, filling some small little holes. Oh, that's a little too familiar sounding for me. Couple of dumb sluts decided to pick the boof and Marie Antoinette. We just had pit stop! Remember when Mike Joy said they're three by three at the line? We're three by three by three by three by three by four by three. No! Oh my, they're smacking the piss out of each other behind me. They want some of Jimmy's ass. They're trying every dirty trick in the book. Not so much dirty, they're just trying to pass me real good. Jim Jim Yelly, Landon Sandcastle, and Redneck Jesus! What a god tier top four. And I see Lil Bow Wow and David Roto Rooter. Oh my lord, this go. is so beautiful! I have... Oh, okay, okay. Right, you got me. Here. You got me. Now I might get you back. I am I am having to work overtime today. Trying to hold the... Keep it right there, buddy. Oh my shit! Jim, Jim, yelling! I am so sorry! Dams! 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 Split the field completely in two. Like when I ripped Hello. that pair of pants in half. We gotta do some bump drafting to go. get back to him. You know what though? Things are kind of spread out. It's looking a little sporadic ahead. If we can nab this group of five up ahead of us, make them a part of the pack, I think we'll run that front pack down. We'll just have more cars on our side, more speed. But goddamn, I thought I was clear at Jim Jim Yaley. I am depressed. There we go. We got a few more that are gonna join the crew. That'll give us more of the good, good speed. They're still five seconds ahead. These guys go with the big slow, but they'll get up to speed. Got another group of three just ahead. Our pack will be stronger than the lead pack. Getting closer. It's just over four seconds. But it's just not enough yet. Five laps we have to pick up. We got to pick up these three and get that extra speed. That might put us over the top. Let's go, little baby T-Rex. Let's wrangle them. We got to wrangle them. Oh, no. couldn't handle my big dick. I was just bump drafted. I mean, I was... Shit! Oh, we... No! Well, Sandcastle ain't now. leaving 40, 30 points after today. Damn it! Well, where I stayed out, we're up to fifth. I really wanted to see how that was going to play out with him because we were going somewhere. Green, white, checkered. Can we do this? Remember lap two. Remember lap two, oh, no. where we were three wide. Look at Redneck Jesus, go! We took, fuck! We only got two laps here, so we could see three wide. This is gonna get exciting! Go for it, I'm going, well, I'm going for it. You can't be throwing them late All blocks, right. Redneck Jesus! As Larry McReynolds likes to say, we're sitting in the catbird seat. I don't know what Our the fuck you. that means. But here we go, white flag in the air. Dad, boy, I ain't your daddy. I block. We gotta just do major blocking. All right behind you. Up here, I. Oh my shit. Okay, okay. I gotta be careful. Careful. Oh my god, I did it again. We're almost there. They're three wide behind us. Looks like they're three wide. I just gotta hang on. Gotta hold off the three. He gonna push me? Bitch gonna push me? You okay? Thank you for the help. Thank you for your patronage. Where am I going? Low side. Keep it there. No! Way to get it done. Man. Ah! I know many of you are going to beg the question, what was I doing there in the tri-oval? Why did I go so wide? And to be 100% honest with you, I'm not sure why. I f feel like maybe I thought that there was a third lane that I should go up and check on just to block. Oh, this is going to be hard to explain at the race shop. Let's just watch this together. I'm getting the push from the three. He's trying He's trying to find a way around me. I, 
okay, and I blocked him, I blocked, I think that was a, I think what I did was, I tried to block the three again, but swung out way too far. How to piss away Sprint Cup wins 101 with Michael Moobs. Hi, I'm Michael Moobs. David Ragu. I don't know how the hell he does this all the times at these restrictor plates. He is so damn gifted at pack racing. This is like 2013 all over again. Front row. Just, they got the, da the Daytona, the Talladega package dialed in. I whooped my scoop too big to block this nincompoop. And that allowed David Ragan to win. Look at all the different lap leaders. Everybody, almost everybody. I mean, Marcos Polo led six. But then everybody else got like one, two, three. And wow, DNFs. When the fuck did Kit Katie Kane and Sandcastle got together? And T-Rex. Damn, that was a big one. Our pole sitter. He's gone, but he will not be forgotten. I am so deeply apologetic to Jib Jib Yaley. He should have had a much better run than that. Oh my fucking God. I just, I can't even with this game anymore. Now I'm the points leader. Now I bump up two spots from ninth to first. Okay. Seriously, some of the dumbest shit. I'm still in third. Uh, Redneck Jesus is the points leader. Chef Boyardee is in second by one. It is very close to the top of the board, I'll give you that. But you should be able to differentiate. Let's see where the hell everybody else stands. Where's that th 34 bumps up a bunch of spots? Now they're in. Do we have anybody down here? Is where's Darb? I didn't even Oh my shit. He can't use his win. He's not even in the top 30. Who's down here? Is it still the same is the same? Yeah. Actually, I don't know. Is he in the top 30? We gotta figure out the points. He's at 31st. That's all that's as far as Darb goes up the board. So he needs to be a top 30. His win doesn't count right now. And he's out by one. The booth has one point over him. Wow, this is insane. So David Ranku, Carlos Jr., they're both in. They don't have anything to worry about. I did think. Okay, 262. That'll bounce out you. You are the least amount. You're the last one in with 250. I think we're going to have people in the comments that do this every week. I think they enjoy it. That actually arrange the point standings the way they're supposed to be. I think, though, Bushy Bushy Bitch is the last driver in on points. You know what the hell Richmond is going to be like. Race number 26. Try to get all this shit sorted out. Boy, next week up is Kansas. That was a good turnaround at the Talladega. Should have been a win if I wasn't incompetent, but it, it's a good turnaround because we've had some pretty lame runs here as of late since our win at Martinsville. What will Kansas hold? I don't know. I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I love ah, every single last one of you. If you enjoyed, leave one of those bad boys, please. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Goodbye!